Christopher Nolan has stood out in the past decade and a half as a unique filmmaker with the ability to make blockbuster films that not only entertain, but use uncommon techniques that we wouldn't usually find in big budget films. He has the ability to cater to a mass audience while simultaneously using complex narratives in his movies, creating a story that is sometimes hard to follow and leaves some audience members with what seems like unanswered questions. When we look at two of my favourite films of his, Inception and The Prestige, we find ourselves giving the screener our whole attention. It's the way that he's able to write a story and format it into a narrative structure that allows his stories to be so detailed when directing it. The stories in these films are quite complex on the outside, but can be somewhat easier to decode when we think about the methods used to create them. One of these methods is frame narrative, otherwise known as frame story. This is when a story tells a story within itself, for example in The Prestige, Christian Bale's character, Alfred, is fooled into reading the diary of Hugh Jackman's character, Robert. This allows for the story to transition to the point of view of Robert, who, as it turns out, then goes on to read the diary of Alfred. So at this point, there are three established stories that the audience is observing. These stories are cut between each other throughout the film, so when we pay attention, it's quite simple as to what's going on. However, what makes it even harder to decipher the overall story is the use of non-linear narrative. This technique is used to delay the film's resolution and the moment of realisation of the film by mixing the way that the story is told, thereby withholding information to the audience that could give away the ending of the film. This is done in Inception really quite well. The opening shot of Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Cobb, on the beach. While we don't know this yet, it turns out that this beach is the dream of Ken Watabe's character, Sato. It is revealed near the end of the film that this is actually the infinite dream world of Sato, where he is because of his death within a dream. That was done so Cobb could get back to his children. Again, we can look at the prestige for this technique because it's revealed that when the film begins, we are actually watching the ending of the original film story and that the very scene at the end of the film is like the title says, the prestige. The final technique I'd like to talk about is the way that he cross cuts between stories to keep an audience engaged for the duration of the film. Focusing on one character through the entire film can get a little tedious, and so by cross-cutting two characters whose stories at some point meet makes for a more interesting story. This is done in the Prestige and the Dark Knight series, where we see the Joker and Bane in both of their films as the movie progresses through the narrative until they meet Batman. This is a pivotal point in both of the films, with a lot of tension and action. This however was not done in Batman Begins as Christopher Nolan did not write the film. So to recap, some of the ways that Christopher Nolan likes to write his stories is through the use of non-linear narrative, frame narrative, and cutting between characters. Nolan, in my opinion, is one of the best filmmakers we have today, and I'm excited to see his next blockbuster. I hope that you'll be able to see a little more clearly when you did before when watching a Christopher Nolan film. It would be great if you could leave a rating for this video and let me know what you thought. My name's James Hayes, and thank you for watching.